with Anthony. Howdy. And we want to talk about Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. So where where where, we, uh, where should we begin then? Um, I think we should begin with the the character designs. Like, were they similar to the, you know, how we view them in the game? Yeah. Um, what character do you want to uh, start off with? Hmm. I'll okay. Just start okay. With Give me Ken then. Okay. The Ken. Yeah. Okay. Then. With Ken, to me, I believe Ken was the most was the most spot on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he, the one, uh, you see, with with Ryu, you could find like a fault, like he wasn't quite big enough. Yeah. But with Ken, like you can't find the fault. It, he was spot on with Akuma. The hair, it did look a bit, you know, a bit corny. Yeah. What, who, 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 who was spot on for you? I'd probably say Akuma, probably. Akuma? Alright, what's your reasons for that? Well, the character development was really, really good. It's, it's showing flashbacks, obviously. I like the time period, how we've gone from 1980s to Ryu and Ken, like with Golken as an older Golken, and then, was it 1950s, was it? With, um, um, hold on. Back, yeah, back. it probably 50s, 60s, I think. Yeah, 1950s, and because I, I think it was Goltetsu that he went to Vietnam, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he went to Vietnam, and um, I just like the character development with the past rather than that time period in the 80s. I think he was more focused on the 1950s more than the 1980s, so to speak. I see. Right. But. Finally, we get a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like I said, none, none, none of this um, Legend of Chun Li, Legend of Lana Lang bullshit. We, we got it right here. And boy, some shit in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. So, you know what? He, he could have been a good bison if they had just, you know, darkened his hair, gave him the. The suit. He would have been better than Raul Julia, I reckon. Yeah. It was, it was terrible. It's just, it's just at the end of that movie, the boys look weak, like snapping his neck. Where's his um? Where's his psycho power, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's just madness. So, what was your favorite fight? Fight in the um? Um, after Sayakuma versus Goltetsu, by far. I agree. I agree. Hands down, it was f far better than the rest. But let me see, the rest was really good. It's just yeah. this one. It actually shows you like the full power of like Hado. Yeah, the starts near the Hado. Yeah, I agree. yeah, like, like the murderous side of it. Like with Ryu and Ken, it wasn't really murderous. It was, it was kind of tempered down. Yeah, I was surprised how they did the um, the raging demon. Oh yeah, that looked great. Oh my god. Even though for a low budget film and web series, mm -hmm. it's just like, well, mm -hmm. because see what I find weird about the the um, Raiden Demon, like when you play the games, you can see it coming from a mile away. Exactly. But in Assassin's Fist, the way they do it, it's like it's something that you couldn't just jump away from. Yeah. It happened so fast. Like I knew he was gonna get killed by Raiden Demon. I just didn't expect it in that fashion while he's shooting a fireball. I, I didn't expect it. Yeah, but the way of gold tattoos look, was his eye at the back of his head or something? <laughs> <laughs> he had an eye at the back of his head, you say? Uh, yeah, you know, his, um, I think it was like his, um, was he his left eye? His left eye was like at the back of his head. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He's like oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you went before the fight, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, like, the Raging Demon, I thought that, like, totally kills you. So, I don't see how he was trembling at the end <laughs> of that fight. It's, just, it's really... I think it's probably the shock of it. Yeah, but it's meant to be that, that you know, it's to hell. So, he should yeah. have just been to hell. There shouldn't have been any trembling. <laughs> yeah. So much um, power in that Raging Demon, though. It's just madness. 
<sighs> it seems like they got their design for Gotetsu from the anime series. Yeah, from that alpha yeah, generation. Yeah, because I looked at the hair, I was thinking, oh, that looks similar. And the beads. Yeah. Now, okay, moving on. What do you think this means for, like, the next season? Oh, well, I think we're going to go um, straight to a World War Vero, um, season two. Street Fighter 2. Alright, because I saw on Facebook that you wrote, like, a, a quick prologue of what's going to happen. Like, would you care to share it with everyone else? What you think is going yeah, to happen for season two? I think what's going to happen... I think now that Ryu and Ken have done with their training, they're going to um, split apart now. And... Um, Mm-hmm. Chun Li and Gaul are gonna um, investigate like Bison's whereabouts and everything. And um, Bison is inviting all these um, fighters around the world, like these greatest fighters. Like you got Ryu, you got Ken, you got DJ from Jamaica, you got Honda, you got Sagat. Okay, okay. Speaking of Sagat, um, I won the first opening with Ryu versus Sagat, like like Street Fighter Two, the animated movie. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, but but more, more dark and bloody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we should get that. Yeah, we should get that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before I get to what I think is going to happen, I want to like you know kind of touch upon Sagat as well. Like I'm thinking, who could they get to play Sagat? Because you need to find someone who's at least over six foot and a half who can <laughs> kickbox. And has size on them as well. Like the only people I can think of are wrestlers. Yeah. See, back in the day, we had like Tong Po from Kickboxer, and he would be perfect if he was like still young now. Tong Po. Nah, he, he's too slim though. <laughs> yeah, but he could have bulked up a bit. Ooh. For, uh, damn, that, you know how long it would take to bulk up to that level, Chris? <laughs> That'll take <laughs> years. <laughs> You'd need someone who's like almost already there and. I think it's only wrestlers that get that size, or you need a bodybuilder who's near to that size. We don't. He doesn't need to be seven foot, just taller, like real taller than your average tall. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that... hey, hey, viewers out there, you can comment if you want, like questions, and ask me and Anthony whatever you want. So go ahead. Anyway, back to what you were saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, I reckon for season two. I reckon like it's gonna have like cameos of you know the characters from Street Fighter One. Oh yeah, like Retsu and yeah. Gen. I don't. Think it's gonna go deep into those characters because it's not something that we as Street Fighter fans were brought upon. We was more brought upon Street Fighter Two. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I reckon like it's gonna probably show like quick flashes of fights with Geki. Is it Geki the Ninja? Yeah. Geki and. All them other guys, it's gonna probably show just little cameos. Then it's gonna show the saga and Ryu fight. Yeah. And after, and then Ryu's gonna use a dark shadow and then damage saga. But I hope when he does scar saga, it doesn't happen when saga's putting his hands out to you know pick him up because I think that's a bit cheap of Ryu. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's it doesn't put him in a good light. In my opinion. Now, after that, hmm, well, see, I'm trying to think of what the could space in between that and the World Warrior. Yeah. Hmm, what could be next? Oh gosh, see, I know. See, I was kind of surprised when Ryu got his bandana at the end. I thought there was going to go like um, Alpha Route, where yeah. you have like, Ryu gain like. He's red bandana, not in the first season, but probably in the second season. Well, mm. I, f- I think I know why they did that, because I don't think they wanted to focus on Street Fighter 1, because we know Alpha comes after Street Fighter 1. Yeah. I don't think they wanted to focus on Street Fighter 1, because we don't, we haven't grown upon it, there's no story for it as such. Yeah. So, true. I think I skipped over. And you can even tell with like how Ken changed his hair, you can tell they're going straight to World Warrior. Yeah. It's, Bother with Street Fighter One, really. So yeah. it, it made sense to just consolidate it into one season because yeah. we don't want to be spending seasons to wait to get to the World Warrior because 
I'll tell you this, with Assassin's Fist, it was like, it's, it's very good. Imagine what's going to happen when we get to World Warrior. I just don't know who I don't know who would play boys and no, that's the thing. I heard um is it Scott Adkins meant to be Goyle? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Joey was saying like oh we might be like in talks with like Scott Adkins. So that's Goyle, so hopefully yeah, he can do a decent flash kick and a sonic boom. <laughs> but I'm not sure if they're modified actually you wouldn't need to modify a flash kick. Yeah. See, they've got, they've got the show you can perfect man for Brie and Ken, especially for Ken with that dragon punch at the end. That was mad. Yeah, that was mad. If you compare that to what it was in Legacy, it's a massive improvement. Exactly. The, how long have they been working on this? Like three years. Yeah, I think they start. When did they start filming? I think it was middle of last year. Yeah. I don't think it took them that long to finish the whole thing. They had to do the editing afterwards. Where, so, where, yeah. where did they get their licenses on? Licenses? You, what do you mean, like, for the um, characters? No, I mean, like, you know, where did they get their budget from? You oh, they got it from um, private backers because they put out a Kickstarter. Yeah. But they cancelled it because private backers stepped up and put money towards it. So we didn't need to donate anymore. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I was wondering, I was thinking, who are these private backers? So I thought... Catcom would be helping them as well, but yeah, they just gave permission. Like, I don't think they was gonna put their money into it. Like if you if you <laughs> saw if you saw she <laughs> fight the um, nineteen ninety four film flop and the two thousand nine film flop, you're not gonna have much <laughs> faith in this series, are you? Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to admit, Ro, Ro, is it Raul Julia? He looks like Boyson, but it was just the acting was just so bad, and the script it was just so shit. With bison, it won't be hard to find a bison. You just gotta find a a muscular dude, put on a put him, give him a tight suit. He won't be hard. You can make anyone look like bison if if they're just in the right shape. I just don't know how they would do it. Um, Psycho Crusher man, how how, how would they do that? <laughs> I don't mad. think that would be hard. You, you just because don't forget. The Cycle Crusher, it'd probably be faster than it is in the game. Yeah. So all they probably have to do is have the guy jump forward into the Cycle Crusher um, stance or whatever and just you know, put that glow stuff around him and yeah. speed it up. That's yeah. probably what they'd have to do. I just, I just yeah. hope that I think <clears throat> in Season 2 we'll probably have like Ryu at the end. Like trying to face Boyson, and then you have a Kuma doing a raging demon on him. Mm. I just hope that happens, and we'll probably get um, and then probably Ken gets a phone call off his dad saying, "Oh, um, Golkens um got murdered by a Kuma." Then um, we have a Kuma telling Ryu, and then he'll use a Satsuna to huddle against him. He'll turn to evil Ryu, and then they'll have a battle, and you'll probably see a flashback with um, Golkens and the Kuma probably fighting. Well, okay, so you reckon that they're going to find out about Gorkin's death after <coughs> eating the World Warrior? Yeah, by the end of World Warrior. Yeah. Oh, that's I think that's different from the game. So I think they found out before they joined World Warrior. Oh, okay. In the games. They, well, that, they, they could change it could though to make it more interesting. But we'll see what I happens. reckon. Oh, I just had a great idea. You know when Saget's fighting Ryu for yeah. season two? Yeah. What you could have. You could have like a sort of symbolism while he's fighting Sagat. You've got Golken and Akuma at home fighting as well. It's like yeah. And when you know when Sagat gets the scar, then it will show Golken you know, getting rage and demon. Oh. So, you know. What Sagat actually getting rage and demon, did you say? No, not Sagat, Golken. Oh Golken. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be man. No, no, just the Metsu on Sagat. Yeah. The show. As that hits him, you could show like a, the, the scene of um, Akuma doing the Raiding Demon on Golken. Actually, at the same time? Yeah, just like maybe. Yeah, actually, yeah, you could yeah, do it that way, yeah. At yeah, the same could, time. Yeah, it could like, you know, be epic, yeah. Yeah. 
Because at the end of season one, we didn't have like goal converters Akuma, so we should see it in season two if they do make eventually a World War Three story. Yeah, it's going to happen if they make a season two. The Goku and Akuma are definitely going to fight. It's going to happen. <laughs> Did you say Goku? He's going to come. <laughs> Where's the Goku? See, I'm sorry, I meant Gol Golki. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think they got Golki spot on, man. Yeah. It was just mad. But the tax Maki. You can't get as realistic as that. Yeah, you, you know how they did that? Did they? <laughs> did you? Did you read how they was able to perform it realistically? No. Was it by wires or I don't know? Nah, they didn't use wires because they could have used wires, but it would have looked fake. What they did was. And and oh, I don't know what's going on, guys. Um, one sec. And what the hell? <laughs> <coughs> Ant's new. Ant. I have no idea, guys. Um, we're experiencing technical difficulties at the moment. Um, hang on, I'll try and bring it back in. <laughs> this is... And this is my first podcast, so... I'm not really good at podcasts, to be fair. But I will try my best. Um. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I think Ryu was spot on. I liked how his character with with his brother Ken. Well, they're not brothers, but they're really best friends. Um. I think Gold Ken was done beautifully. Oh, and you there? Oh, and what happened there? Oh, damn. Oh, what happened? He just cut out. Uh, Sorry about that. It's all right. I just said there's technical difficulties. <laughs> did, you, did you cut the call off? No, I didn't. I'm still carrying on. I'm just talking. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Back, back. Where was we now? Oh, okay. He was speaking about... Oh, yes. He was talking about the Tatsumaki, I think. Oh, yeah. You were saying, oh, uh, yeah. Hedda was doing it. Yeah, basically, he does a 720 spin. Yeah. Uh, like at the last spin, that's when you you bring your foot out. Oh, okay. Actually, it's not two kicks; it's just one kick. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch it carefully and like slow it down, it's just two spins, then a kick. Oh, okay. But it's so fast; it looks like like the proper tatsumaki. Hmm. Yeah, I think Ken's probably Tax Mackey was probably the best. I have to admit. I don't know. I can really tell the difference. Gold Tetsu's was decent by the tree, so that was mental. I liked Akuma's as well because it was different. His looked more like yeah, the game. yeah. Because in Street Fighter Two, we know he's really overpowered. You know that. When he does like a two hit tax Maku. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell that's really beast. <laughs> you know what? For one moment, I thought he was going to lose that fight. Who, hey, Akuma? Yeah, I was like, they're going to change this because Gotetsu is giving him some big hits. <laughs> he did that move against the two and he, when he like, blew a hole through him, I think he did anyway. I thought, that's it. He can't come back from that now. <laughs> I just thought get Gortex was stupid like if I've done that to you I'm not going to throw you away to give you a chance to um, recover 
<laughs> like, I'll put it on the floor, charge up my Metsu, then I'll just shoot it right in your face. <laughs> Did it go through his chest or his heart or...? Yeah! Madness, it's like either you, man. You put it for the floor through his chest. Oh my gosh. Damn. Well, yeah, do you want to, um, we'll break down the characters if you want to, like, each one. Um, where yeah. do you want to start then? We'll go, probably with Ryu. What, what do you think was the best about Ryu then, in season one then? What do I think's the best? Um, like, he hasn't realised how powerful he is. Yeah, like, his true potential like, and everything. Yeah, if you watch, like, in the games, you don't see, you don't see that he, um, that he's not confident, you don't get that impression from the games. Yeah, that reminds me of myself, to be fair. <laughs> in, in the games, he seems like he's a quiet, confident introvert. Yeah. But in this, he's like he's an introvert, and he's also, you know, a bit scared and, what's the word, naive. Yeah. When he fought Ken in that first fight, you could tell he wasn't ready, because if you, if you watch at the start, he looked down. Yeah. He was like, like, I don't want to do this. He wasn't ready for it. And I reckon he was scared to lose Ken. That's why he didn't go all out. Yeah. That's what I think. Like, he's thinking, like, Ken's my only friend. If I go all out and I could kill him, I've got no one left. Yeah, because we've got the fact that Ryu is like, you know, he doesn't know who his parents are. Exactly. He's been left by that old man with Dolkin. And Dolkin's like a father figure to him. And Ken's... Ken's the only friend he's got, and he were, he, he doesn't know how to experience the outside world yet. So, and he doesn't want to lose Ken yet because we have Ken's dad who drops him off, and then you know they get along with each other. And then yeah. we have Ken's dad who wants to take him back home, like when he's a bit older, and Ryu's like scared with that, you know. So yeah. The thing with Ken is that with his aggressive style, like he doesn't hold back. Yeah. But like that was his weakness because he loses his composure very quickly. Yeah. Like when Rui did that overhead punch on him and he fell. Yeah. Like you know he got pissed off from that. Um. <laughs> you know, like, like in the games, you don't get the impression that Ken can lose it like that. Yeah. Like that, we know that he's confident in. Big-headed, but we didn't. We have no signs that he had a temper in the game. Yeah, but the, yeah, but tr that is true. But um, having a young Ken at the moment, so yeah. So you reckon? Is there a possibility that Akuma is a um, reused dad then? No, I knew, I knew he was gonna go there. I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, because if you listen to Roy when he was talking to Ken. On the rooftop. Yeah. He said that. Do you feel like a strange feeling around here? Yeah. Oh, I don't think this Satsu had always like within him. I think somehow it tainted the area. With the fight between him and Gotetsu. Yeah, the area was tainted, and for some reason, Ryu was infected with it somehow. Oh, like a virus, probably. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know what I walk on it, because after Ken did that, is it the Kazuya kick on him? He sent it to the ground? Like, I'm not sure if Ryu's will to win caused him to change. I don't know. Mm. I'd, I'd really doubt his dad is Akuma. I really mm. doubt it. Because we had that relationship with that, what's, what's her name, that girl's name? Um, Gortetsu's niece. Sakoya, is that, was that her name? Yeah, I think so. And... It's just like, it's possible, because she ran into the forest at the end, and then Gorkin's like, you know, left, like, you know, rejected and everything, and yeah, it's just like, sad. <laughs> so, was Ryu and Ken about 17 in this series? Um, if we, if they was born in the 60s, then they would be probably early 20s, probably. Hmm. I'm thinking, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it's his dad. I don't think he'd want to go down that route, um, Joey. I don't think he'd go that route. Hmm. 
I think there's something that maybe Ryu and Akuma have in common. And we just don't know what it is yet. Because what's weird is that Akuma had to learn it to tap into it. Ryu just tapped into it spontaneously. Yeah. And Joey, if you do watch this, thank you so much for this show, man. That montage yes. of Akuma, oh my fucking God. Thank you so much, Joey. Oh my. You have <laughs> brought me joy after 15 years of pain. <laughs> <laughs> I remember as a kid when I was when I was in year five and when I found out the Street Fighter movie was coming on TV that yeah. same night. I was yeah. like, oh, I can't wait for this. I'm going to see that the Hadouken and the Shuruken. <laughs> I'm watching, I'm thinking, why is he <laughs> brown? I'm thinking, is he going to die afterwards? The, 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 most, the most heartbreaking <laughs> bit is when Zangief gives the fucking costumes to Ryu and Ken from Shadow <laughs> Move. I was like... What is this? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. I would have preferred, you know what? That came was so terrible, I would have just preferred if they put on a fake wig. I don't care how fake it looked. <laughs> as long as he just gave us some resemblance of Ken. I wouldn't care. I, I felt like my childhood was ruined because of that moment. Yeah. Help on there. Then when Ryu fought Vega and did like some sort of what, flash of token. Yeah, don't get me started with Vega because the way they done Vega in Legend of Tron was so dreadful. It was Asian, not Spanish. Asian? <laughs> what would you do with Asian, man? I did like a rat. I thought Vega is supposed to be like this beautiful, like, muscular guy or something, not some rat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's meant to have blonde hair as well. Yeah. Or is it... Slightly brown, I don't know. It's her. Oh my gosh. That's just mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next character. Um, Golkin. Golkin. Okay. You want to start with young Golkin and then we'll build you all up then? Yeah, yeah, let's go that route. Okay, we'll go young Golkin and then. <sighs> Young Golken is probably really, really good, and he's learning from Master Goltetsu. And mm -hmm. do you remember that fight between him and Golki, Younger Kuma? It was just like madness. Mm -hmm. And then he does the Shoyuken because he gets like pissed off, don't he? And, yeah. yeah. Um, Young Golki, it's. Are the... See, I don't really like Young Goki compared to the older one. Oh, you prefer Joru more than... Sorry, well, I keep saying Goki. Sorry, Golkin. Oh, Golkin. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. said> Goki. <laughs> sorry, well, sorry, was you talking about Goki? Yeah, uh, no, I was talking but... about Go Young Golkin. Like, oh, okay. Like, fighting right. against um, Young Goki, like, you know, when he gets pissed off at the end, doing a show you can, and then... All right. It gets banished from the dojo and everything by Goltetsu. So, my bad. Well, um, yeah, I preferred all the Golken. Yeah. But, yeah, the young one. He seemed a bit. What's the word? He seemed naive and he's like he's just like I'll do as my master says. Like that's the problem. We see with his brother. His brother went the other extreme. Yeah. Like ignore everything my master says. The older Goku, he took on his master's teachings, but didn't take them to the full effect like Goki did. Yeah, it was good. Like he was writing notes as well, like with the Satsuna de Hado. Yeah. Ken finds it in that room, and then Ken goes all out, don't he? And then Goku can actually like sense it and everything like so. Yeah. Speaking of um, some of the scenes that we saw before the um in the making of Assassin's Feast. I didn't see them in the series. Oh, the trailer? Like, you know when Ryu and Ken are fighting Golkin at the same time? Oh, yeah. We should get oh, that in deleted scenes in the DVD and Blu-ray release in August. Yeah. So. I read on Wikipedia that the, the Blu-ray is going to be two hours. Yeah. The YouTube version that we watched was only... It was 100 minutes, so that's one hour, 40 minutes, so we've lost 20 minutes. Yeah. So I don't think it's like uncut scenes like I don't think it's deleted scenes as such or yeah. behind scenes I think it's actually going to be within this, the, the show just that some reason they took, they took it out we're supposed to get more easter eggs as well 
Yeah. Because I did think the fight in that um, club was a bit short. Well, not a bit short, very short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, one kick, it's over. I wanted, like, you know, like the, the Fei Long situation in um, the animated Street Fighter in 1994. Is it 1994? Yeah. 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 I wanted to see something like that, that really just go against someone like that. A show yeah. off his skill. But it, the fight only had to last maybe 30, 45 seconds at least. Yeah. But like one kick, nah. Uh, one. But Yo, it was I'm, surpri- I'm surprised that Brian Cranston voiced uh, Fei Long in that movie from Breaking Bad. I was like, yeah, I believe me. <laughs> I was just like, wow. Never knew that. That is shocking. But yeah, but back to goal. Ken was like saying, like you know, his young self. So. Mhm. Like the older one, like it took him, took him seven years for him to even consider teaching them the the techniques of Hado. Yeah. So like it shows that his philosophy was way different than his brother's or his master. Yeah. You know, he seems, even though he's wise, he seems a bit, what's the word, nervous Yeah. to teach it. Yeah. Um, yeah, in a way, you could say that him and Ryu are kind of similar. Yeah. Like, they're afraid something's going to happen if they do something. Yeah, the, the personality's kind of the same in a bit. Yeah. But Ken, you don't care, it's like, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Like, you know when he was doing the sparring? When the, yeah. that Ken theme came on, what the uh, the prologue or the first no, episode or the with their their dad, with dad. Oh, with the the um like the Rocky montage. Yeah, yeah. basically, like, if you watch the way him and Roy were sparring, there was like a big difference in the way that was hitting because with Roy, you could tell he was focusing on technique. Yeah, like when he did that kick to his chest. Yeah. That, that was a pretty neat manoeuvre. Like, he was going slower than Ken. Ken was, like, fast and vicious, like, roundhouse kicks and shurikens. Yeah. yeah. And Just Ken doesn't want to mess about, does he? So. Yeah. You see, people, if you fight like that, you're more likely to get counted. You yeah, see, when Roy exactly. his kick, Yeah. I thought he was going to get focused. <laughs> I thought he was going to get focused and get a mess. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know the first episode of um, the prologue where you have Ryu versus Ken in the eighties at the start on the grass by the river? Um, you have that little Daigo parry, <laughs> like with Ryu and Ken, like Ryu actually parrying Ken's kicks. Yeah, <laughs> like there's a part when he knocked the Ken's knee away, but he didn't attack him though. Hmm. So I found odd. that's the that's the part I was talking about. I thought it was a focus. You say it's a parry. Maybe it was a parry. I'm thinking like, how come you haven't like messed him up for that mistake? <laughs> <laughs> Who else is there? I think we've discussed him. You know, I don't think there's anyone else. Oh 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 oh, Lomi, this Lomi guy. Huh? Oh oh the oh the old man that dropped yeah. his baby. Um. I reckon. I reckon he, that's uh, Gotetsu reincarnated, or probably his brother or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's his brother. Yeah. I really think he is. But I'm thinking, what? Why is Gotetsu's brother got Ryu in his possession to give to Golken? But how did he find him? Uh, God knows. See, this is this is the thing, man. That that, that it's possible that Gotetsu's needs could be Ryu's mom, but we don't know. So, well, that could that that could be that could be um, the girl's um, dad or something. It's very possible, actually. You know what? It could very well be um, the son of Akuma. It's very possible now. Yeah. I just don't think they're going to go down that route. I don't think they are. Because Assassin's Fist is definitely semi-canon. It's not fully canon, is it? So. Mm-hmm. Because, you see, you can't do fully canon because it'd probably be boring. 
Exactly. We just want something different and realistic. So. Yeah. So, what's your ratings for this Assassin's Fist? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I'm gonna give it a a nine point five. Yeah. He had that on IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> IMDb gave me nine point five. Oh, all right. It, it's only had one review though when I checked. Oh. Yeah. I hope it's increased since then. Yeah. You talk about anything else? Or how we grew up with Street Fighter and everything. Yeah, go right ahead. Uh, you can go first. Okay. How I grew up. Well, I remember being at my nan's. I was about six years old. And my sister was playing the SNES. Yeah. She had to do something. So she says, oh, yeah, you know, you can have a go. Yeah. And I remember, like, thinking, oh, this Street Fighter. <laughs> you know, like, blonde guy with hair. I was like, he looks cool. So I just picked him, and I just fell in love with that character since. <laughs> wow. But you see, back then, I wasn't... See, that was the 90s, so back then, I wasn't really into Street Fighter as much as I was into Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I was more of a Mortal Kombat yeah. fan before. Mortal Kombat. Before. Yeah, Especially um, Mortal Kombat Mark 1. Me and my brother loved that game. Yeah. Then it was Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. We never played Mortal Kombat 2. Then wow. Combat Four. Yeah. What we played, then we started playing Street Fighter Third Strike in the year two thousand and three. Yeah. We got hooked on that, and our Dreamcast broke. Wow. We couldn't play it for a while. Then when I heard Street Fighter Four was coming out, I was like, oh, "What's this? I don't want to play this. There's no parrying in there." <laughs> like, I'm not going to play this. I was like cussing the game. Like, I didn't want it to come out. Mm. Came out. My friend bought it, and I went to his house and played it. I got hooked. <laughs> so totally hooked. Man. So that's taught me a lesson. Like, don't, don't count out a game. It can still be good, even if it's not the way you're used to playing it. Exactly. Don't judge anything until you play it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like well, like crossovers, I think I'll always judge it before I play it. <laughs> oh, straight for the cross Tekken was awful, man. I don't like. I didn't like um, Capcom V S N K either. It, I don't. I don't like them games. It's like it's too crazy for me. When they combine these games, oh, I don't like it. I enjoyed Capcom versus S N K too so much. Share share to Michael Grant as well because <laughs> he loves that game so much. I know. <laughs> Uh, it'd be good if he joined in on this, on this session right now. Trust me, man. All right. Is any anyone listening to this? Um, there's, only, <laughs> there's only one viewer. How <laughs> embarrassing! <laughs> but we should get more viewers as we post it in the Street Fighter Legacy group on Facebook. So, yeah, if if you're a fan of Street Fighter, check the Street Fighter Legacy Facebook official group. There's about a thousand members on there. We'll talk about Street Fighter and other stuff that can improve. In the near future, yeah. Oh, right, my turn to um, how I brought with it. Okay, I was round my grand's. God bless us all, because she passed away in February. Um, my mum and dad bought me SNES, and I got Super Street is Street Fighter Two Turbo. It was not Super Street Fighter. Street Fighter Two Turbo. All right. Uh, that was the one with um. Is it Honda and Sagat at the front of the case? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and um, I was like, oh, this, this is amazing. I was like, because I was more hooked into Mortal Kombat more than Street Fighter at the time when I was a kid. And I was like, what is this? I was like, wow. Can I actually do fireballs and shit? I was like, okay. And I picked Ryu and I was like, oh, these are cool characters. He's like the main hero of the actual series. I was like, check this out. And I was, Went to like the end, and then the four guardians came up: Belrog, Vega, Sagat, and Boyce. And I was like, kind of scared. I was like, what do I do now? I, I, I thought I completed the whole thing, and then oh, you got these four guardians coming up now. And as I got to Boyce, I got more scared because the cycle crusher kept on getting me when I was a kid. I was like, what do I do? Because I'm busting bashing. <laughs> <laughs> but them times was amazing, man. If I could go back again when I was a kid. Playing Street Fighter 2, I would. <laughs> it was broke as hell, though. 
<laughs> and then you have the next one with Akuma, then I think everybody got scared when Akuma came into it. It was like, who the hell is he? He's just some OP character. Man. Like, and then we had Gil in Street Fighter 3, which is more OP with that resurrection ability. I was like, what's going on? Yeah, like, he's, um, he's Superman. He took off 100% life. Yeah, damn. And if you blocked it, it took off a quarter of, quarter of your life. So I heard in the official story for, um, you know, Akuma versus Gil. Akuma done a raging demon on him and then he resurrected. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? I think uh, Akuma needs to work on his raging demon. <laughs> Too many people are surviving it now. Did you see that ending on Third Strike that um, Akuma uh, destroyed a submarine? Yeah. It seemed uh, pointless to me, though. <laughs> what was the point? I don't know. Probably testing his ability, probably. <laughs> um, what would you say is your favourite Street Fighter game then? Street Fighter 4. I'll probably say Street Fighter Alpha 3. Oh, right. You can block in the air in that, can't you? Yeah, you can. That's why I love it so much. Alpha 3 <laughs> just feels, feels really original. What do you play it on? Um, I play. I got it. I got the PlayStation Two collection, but I lost my PlayStation One copy. But I had to get the collection on PS Two. So, well, I I did have a brief, you know, play on um Alpha Three. Yeah. And it was on a. It was on my PC, and it was um online actually, through yeah. um, what was the app called now? It was one of them arcade apps. Yeah. And it's some like you can connect to anywhere in the world and you just play anyone. Yeah. And that'll for free, no paying for nothing. Yeah. Do you know Marco Colazzo? Yeah. He, yeah, he's the one that showed me. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do that for a lot of games. A lot of games that you would play back in the day but had no online ability. You can do it through that app now. Oh, okay. Oh, I think it's called Killer Name. So to anyone who wants to play, you know, old school games and you want to have the online feature, go and download Killer Name. Yeah. Kyla Name. Kayla Name. My bad. Kayla Name. So, I need more to talk about. Um... I was going to say... Uh, what was I going to say now? There's meant to be a Capcom game um, coming up. I think it's at E3. And what do you think will be? Probably Street Fighter 5. E3. When is E3 in the autumn? Um, winter? It's meant to be next month, isn't it? E3. No, I don't think so. I reckon they're going to keep milking Street Fighter 4. Yeah. I, I don't think... expect Street Fighter oh. 5 for another two years. I think Ultra is the last version. By the way, UK viewers, we get it Wednesday, so and the Xbox people get it Tuesday, so. <laughs> When's that coming? Um, this Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh my gosh! I didn't. Damn, time flies. I've not been like keeping up with the news for that. <laughs> it's funny, so. we just we was waiting for Assassin's Creed. Now we're getting Ultra Street for the four. Now I'm getting pretty hyped now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy the digital version. Yeah, same. So yeah. I don't see. I don't. To me, I don't see the point of a physical copy. Yeah, the re retail version is good though because you get the free costumes, and yeah. if anybody's like never played the series before, like any of my friends who don't really like Street Fighter, they can get into it. So. Yeah, for them it makes sense if you never played it before, but if you're already playing it, yeah, I, I don't see the point because. We're not going to act exactly borrow this this ring one, really. Yeah, it's, it's good for tournaments as well, like EVO and, yeah, because you get free costumes and everything, so. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's talk, about, let's talk about Ultra Street for the 4 for a bit, yeah. Yep, I already Um, I, I think, I think the best feature is probably, it's got to be the YouTube feature, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because I didn't want to go out and buy a, is it a capture card? 
Yeah, I've got a PVR, yeah. yeah I, I always wanted to, like, <laughs> I wanted my videos to be on YouTube just to, get, just to piss people off. <laughs> 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 Seeing A ranks get beaten by my my um, my dry name style. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed when I've played people in lobbies, they're not putting my matches up. <laughs> yeah. So I've noticed it's like, wait, didn't I kick everyone's ass and I can't even see one match of mine? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's all fair. Now, <laughs> no one can avoid it. Now you're gonna see it, and you're gonna have to take it. <laughs> It's meant to be 480p in it because 720p is too much memory, so they didn't want to do it and take so long for an upload. So what, it's 480 then? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's clear enough. If it's 360, no, that's terrible. <laughs> 480, yeah. yeah. I, can deal with that. I think they'll raise that eventually to 720 once the servers get more balanced and all that, whatever they do. Yeah. And like the, um, the the button config on um, the, the character screen, about time they had that. Like, yeah. the third strike. Yeah, is this for. Um, it's not just it's for offline play as well, isn't it? Um, it's just I, online play. I think, I think it's both, I think. Yeah, okay. That's very yeah. just great. Yeah, so about oh, time they had that. It was every time you're in a tournament and you're like checking buttons and yeah. then, you know, it's just like, you know, so annoying. Uh, if you add all that together, it's like that, that, that was a wasted minutes. Yeah, exactly. Like. Now you can change your buttons on the character screen now, it just makes it more professional now. Damn, it's how far they've come now. I remember when I went to that first one, that game. Yeah. You couldn't change your buttons. Exactly. Oh, I, I got destroyed and I felt embarrassed and like everyone's thinking, wait, isn't he meant to be good? Yeah, I think I, I think I destroyed your brother, didn't I? Scrubby mold. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out to your brother, man, <laughs> Marcus, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. The characters look alright, but it's, it's from Street Fighter Cross Tekken, no man. I wanted like brand new characters. None of this Street Fighter Cross Tekken roster shit. <laughs> and the stages as well. It's just copying. Okay, copy and paste a bit. I think Catcom was a bit lazy, but you know. It is. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Call of Duty and stuff like that, yeah. No. Was it was it ba Battlefield Free? I heard that's free on PC, you know, so we wanna get it on PCs for free. <laughs> yeah, I heard. I'm okay. Uh, my friend Sammy's probably the best out of all of us. Yeah. Um I think they have like you know a little training thing probably. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know all the details. So I haven't played Call of Duty in first person shooters in ages. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, back to Ultra Street for the four. Um, the balance changes. You, you're probably so happy about Ken's balance changes with his uh, fast walk and everything. And his his punches. Is his crouch medium punch in it? Yeah. 
Ja. Ja. Yeah, because I heard you can do an FADC and it, into Ultra One, but it doesn't show a full animation. It it takes more damage, no. Yeah, so I'm pretty. Yeah, really, really looking good, yeah. I think so, yeah. I'll have to look at. Yeah, I'll have to look into it again properly. I heard his Ultra Two connects more, no, so. Yeah, I'm liking Yun's changes though. Shout out to Arjun because he hates my Yun so much. <laughs> I think I think he was probably the first time you seen me sort it again, Zane, man. When I saw him stick down, I was like, shit. <laughs> so I, I admit I'm very quiet, and um, I actually got the reason why I got pissed off because of my performance, and I didn't even win a game, a single game. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Um, was it either Ryu or Oni? Um, no, that was Daryl. Shit. Yeah. 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 He just had he just had great reflexes, man. I was like, shit. Yeah, speaking of beatings, man, shout out to Scott, man. His Dougley's amazing, man. He just perfected you like nothing, man. Because <laughs> he plays third strike a lot and he uses Dougley, don't he? So. Get, get assassinated, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, true. Man, I need to st start getting back into Street Fighter again, man. I should be back probably next Saturday because uh, the plan is we should be having the first ever Ultra Street Fighter 4 um, session, so that's going to be mental. <laughs> and If you're in a local area, just like... There's this place called the Planet in Wolverhampton every, I think it's every fortnight, Saturday and third week. On Blue, yeah, Blue Fireball Gaming Group um, on Facebook and check that out. And if you live in the local area, just check it out. It's really, it's a fun place. Just they just need to improve on small monitors and everything. That that's about it. Um. Well, it just feels more professional. In case of in case of lag, and it doesn't feel no lag, but we should definitely do small monitors in the near future. Oh, true. The, you could use. Um, I was thinking, like they do at Evo, they could use a projector screen, because we was going to use that squadron and. Unfortunately, Squadron's been there, and Squadron was such a fantastic place to be with. And yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, they they don't want us to like bring their own consoles, and I don't know why. And <laughs> mm.
Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah, man. We need Michael Grant to have a mic as well, so Richard, if you're hearing this, shout outs to you. Get a mic for Michael, man. We need that commentary, man. We need, we need some hype in there. None of this flashy, none, none of this flashy camera nonsense. We need a microphone, man. Be the star. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that the video was edited and I swear and I said before that Akuma was going to be the star of the show so that's actually right <laughs> so but yeah anything else we want to talk about oh shit um Finally, we get a Dragon Ball Z bar of God's um, English dub at last. About last year, March, it came out in Japan. Now, begin it this August. But I don't know if we're going to have a UK release in cinema. Damn, damn you Americans, man. You, you get it for a couple of days and the UK audience don't get it. <laughs> No, I, I would experience it in like three D. Be amazing. Hmm. Somebody's calling me on Skype. <laughs> so no, I'm doing a podcast here. Screw you. And um, some guy called Mark. Not 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 Mark Ashley. Share this to Gold Koopman. <laughs> He knows he's about his Game of Thrones and shit. That's what Anthony likes, man. Game of Thrones. Even though I'm not the biggest Game of Thrones fans and I've never watched it, so <laughs> I need to start. I need to start getting into that show, man. Yeah, but you sport it for fucking cash and they <laughs> deleted you off Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout outs to Cash, man. I just. I remember when seeing him at Planet ages ago at Planet, and um, I saw him with the PlayStation 4 controller playing Injustice, and he slammed it down, man. The saltiness in his face was unbearable. <laughs> because he got battered than Injustice by some goon from Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Have you seen the Robocop remake? I I enjoyed it, man. I thought Robocop's character with a better. I thought it was a better. Okay, no spoilers. Um, spoiler free review. <laughs> I was gonna say. Um, I thought the backstory was more interesting. And. Oh my god, technical dish difficulties again. And. And. Well, yeah, I'm so looking forward to Bow of God in English dub as well. Should be amazing. And of course, is there. Anthony's probably got some corner shop connection. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so 
So yeah, I thought Assassin's Fist was a great show. I thought they did the projectiles right, the tax macky right, the show you can right. Uh, the characters were beautifully done and yeah, just right for Anthony now. I'm back. With Anthony's um, corner shop connection. Oh shit, Ant! I never knew you was a shame. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I'm using my my phone. I'm using the Hangouts app. Oh okay. I'm just using my PC, so. Yeah, I can't use my PC at the moment because I've got my NBA on at the moment, so I can't use that and my NBA. Basketball is a you know, oh, got... Sorry, I, I didn't say anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> What else, what else yeah. can we talk about? Um, well, I could talk about anything, man. Um, yo, more combat legacy. Let's talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. I think the first season was better than the second season. I think the characters were better. Yeah, I, I I disagree. I think those were both terrible, but I think season two was better. Yeah, the way they did Luke Kang in season two, he's meant to be the saviour of friggin' out Earth Realm. I was like, don't know, work with Shang Tsung. See, yeah, that's the problem I had. Like, I didn't mind him being like the anti-hero and being all bad and mean. It's just that I didn't expect him to join the people who, you know, who was trying to, you know, destroy his realm. It's just a bit. It, they went a bit too far. Yeah. Like what I should have done is made him bad and mean, but like he keeps himself neutral. Yeah. And somehow he just is convinced to join her from something like that. Yeah. You know, it's it's been an embarrassment compared to Assassin's Fist. Assassin's yeah. Fist already has a, more views than both seasons of Legacy com combined. And yeah, and how long has he been out for? About two weeks. <laughs> no, you mean Assassin's Fist? Yeah, it's been out for like two weeks, nearly, isn't it? Nah, it's only a week. Oh, a week? Oh, okay. Yeah. It came out last Friday. Oh, yeah, damn. And it's took him yeah. a couple of months to get loads of views for uh, Mortal Kombat Legacy. That's just funny. <laughs> what I respect about Joey Answer is that he didn't want anyone to destroy his vision of what Street Fighter was meant to be. Yeah. Because I bet you, if he wanted to make it Hollywood, he would have got a lot of backers. Yeah. He didn't want that. <coughs> you know, he, he went with private backers. Now, with Legacy, that guy, he let, he let the higher-up people di dictate how it's going to come out. Yeah. So, come on, it's a tournament. Like, it's, they're all fighting in the same arena. Like Everyone's fighting in the forest. Yeah, true. I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I, I thought that I thought that um that Johnny Ka which one hang on is it oh, Air Mac versus um Kenshi that was sick I yeah. thought that was a good fight. See the fights were good. It, the problem was see the blows they filled up you know, the beginning of the episodes. Yeah. They filled up with too much from the last episode. Yeah. The lesson that they, they shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Hmm. Like, okay, maybe a quick flashback. And go to that. But I think I did it just a few minutes. Because I was being cheap. But, you know, it was that bad. The guy um, he retired. Didn't he? <laughs> no, he's back. No, he's back. No. <laughs> he came back to forget it. You ruined it for me now. Hmm. I reckon. You're going to come back and remake season two, please. <laughs> that, was, that was disgusting. Like, I wanted to see that, you know, like the lava. Was it the, the lava pit? Is it um, oh, Never Realm? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, Never Realm? Nah, nah. Never Realm wouldn't have an appearance in this yet as a oh. fight. Okay. okay. Now, because I was thinking like Volcano Warriors or Fort Never Realm and. Alright. Oh, um, what else? And what's it called? The courtyard, you know, from Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. They didn't do it. It's all in damn fucking forest. This is, this is not Hunger Games. 
<laughs> I thought Hunger Games was a good film. Yeah, well then, but this is not Hunger Games. Like you should be trying to copy a film that's completely different. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh yeah, I was disappointed with that. Have you watched Hunger Games? No. Let me see what. Well, I think we've touched on, on what we need to touch upon. I think we should wrap it up. Yeah. I think we, I think, I think we did well for our first podcast, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd do much worse. But hey, we'll let the audience decide. Yeah, we'll probably get dislike probably get dislikes for this, but I don't care. <laughs> the to start somewhere. Exactly, man. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So this is the amazing CJB podcast with Anthony, and yeah, leave a comment, leave a like, li- leave a dislike. Hopefully, yeah, leave a I like. Subscribe. You'll subscribe because this is this is just the beginning. So. Peace out. Peace out. Laters.